coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next uh, SDL 2.0 tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to be creating a window. So let's start off by saying SDL underscore window and making a pointer to our variable name and then we're going to set it equal to null pointer. Now before we continue uh, for those of you who don't know what null pointer is, it is a C++11 keyword uh, that is um, basically used uh, specifically for pointer values. Now, yes, uh, you can use the null keyword if you want. Um, it's really up to you, or you could use zero if you want. Uh, but I prefer to use the C++11 way, and I think you guys should too. But um, up to personal choice now I know I'm gonna before I even continue I know I'm gonna get uh, somebody's gonna ask me this question because I've been asked this question a lot with previous tutorial series but why is this a pointer uh, why not just make it a non pointer well first of all we get an error and give us an error and secondly um, the window is supposed to be uh, we want SDL the way SDL is designed is that they want the window to be created on the heap which in my in my point of view makes sense right we need to have all this the most space we need to have as much space as possible right and depending on the different operating systems the stacks are different sizes uh and so on and so forth so we need to make sure that we actually have enough memory uh to actually create our window and work with other things and with an sdl so that's just a quick overview if you want to learn more about this the this uh, sorry, the heap and the stack. I uh, watch my C++ uh, made easy tutorial on that. So, anyways, once we've uh, created that and we've set it to no pointer, what we want to do is we're going to make an if statement and we're going to say SDL init. So, if SDL init, and we're going to instead of initializing everything, we're just going to initialize the video because that's all we need. So, we're going to say okay, if SDL init uh, in the videos is less than zero, that means what it's going to do is if it returns a negative if it fails it's going to return negative one so we want to say if it's less than zero which means it's negative one then we're going to print out an error so we're going to say video initialization error and we're going to say sdl get error and voila so whenever you get an error uh, with SDL, you want to call SDL get error and it will give you a more detailed um, reasoning for the error that actually occurred. So instead of just our reasoning, SDL will give you a more in-depth reason why the error occurred. Simple. So if we've actually initialized it um, and every, nothing went wrong with initialization, then we actually want to create our window. So we're going to say SDL underscore create window. So creating window it has a couple of parameters. So we're gonna say SDL coding made easy series. And this is the title for the window. So just like Visual Studio has a title right here, SDL YouTube, Microsoft, Visual Studio, we're gonna set the title for our window. So after we set that title, we need the X and Y uh, position of the screen. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say SDL window position centered. So we're just going to do that for the X and Y. So it's just going to center the, the position of the window. Centered. So all it is is that it just wants to know where to start drawing the win window. And that's it. So as for the screen width and the screen height, we're going to set it to 640 by 480. And for the flags, we're going to set SDL window shown. Now, if you want to, there's multiple flags uh, that you can put, right? But we're only going to be working with shown. But if you want to add any additional flags, you just have to put the or symbol and then put the additional flags that you actually want. So if a window is fail, if it fails to create the window, it's going to return a null value. So it's going to say, okay, we're going to say if window is equal to null, then we're going to say window creation error or whatever error message you want. And then we're going to say SDL get error. So it'll give us a more detailed reason why the window wasn't created. So if the window was created and we had no problems, what we're going to do is just say update window surface. And we're going to display the window. And then we're going to say SDL delay. 
and we're gonna put 2000 so when we say update window surface when we when we say when we actually create the window nothing's gonna happen we have to say update window surface to actually show the window and to actually update it when we're going to be doing different things later on down the road and we say SDL delay it's just going to pause the program the execution of the program for however long we stated in here so we stated 2000 so we were going to stop it for 2000 milliseconds which equates to two seconds so after we're done that the, our program is going to end and it's going to execute but as you remembered, we have a pointer here and we allocated uh, something dynamically and so we have to free the memory. So we're going to say destroy window and we're going to say window and then we're going to put SDL quit. So uh, since we initialized something, we're going to say okay we need to quit that and we need to destroy the window that we created. And that's it for this. this um, that's it for the code so uh, last but not least sorry we have to return the value and when we run this uh, we get a screen for two seconds and it closes so that's it for this tutorial uh, don't forget to comment rate, and subscribe don't forget to like uh, my page on Facebook follow me on Twitter and also sign up on my website for more details um, and for source code as well so that's it and bye for now